Good day viewers and welcome to another edition of Car Blizzard Mobile Video. Today, I am going to be telling you something you have been doing very wrong. I know you are curious about what you have been doing wrongly in your car. Well, what you are doing wrongly that I want to discuss with you today is related to how you park your car. It is not a matter of your years of driving experience. It's a matter of are you parking your car rightly? This is how most of you park your car. This car uses the foot pedal emergency brake. And um, this is how most of you park your car. When you just get to where you're going, you press the brake and then adjust your shifter to park without even considering pressing down your emergency brake, your foot brake at all. So this is under car here. This car has its own emergency brake at the hand position and that's why most of you call it the hand brake. So now when you are going with this car also and you get to where you are going, you make a halt and then you put it to hand brake, the thumb pack and then you draw out the emergency brake. This parking procedure is also wrong. You actually think um, you are, you have engaged your emergency brake after parking. But I'm telling you, it is more or less as if you have not engaged any emergency brake or parking brake at all. Because what you are trying to prevent or from happening to your transmission box will end up happening to it while you think you are preventing it. Now, there's something we call the parking pole in the, in the transmission box. And that um, parking pole is actually there to prevent your car from moving forward. It's helping locking the um, shaft the outside shaft of your car and preventing it from rolling over after you've parked the car or after you shifted your gear to park. Now the question is, how do I park my car rightly? How do I park my car correctly? Come along and let me show you. So now you are moving the car. When you get to where you are stopping, press your brake and then push the shifter to neutral. After doing that, you press your emergency brake or your parking brake very well. You see, I move my leg from the brake and the car is still, it's not moving forward. So that means that the car is already resting on my um, parking brake already. So then I put my car in park. This is the best way of parking your car. Now, for the hand parking um, brake user so this is how you go about it when you press your brake and you alter the car then you can put it on the track why don't you try? draw your parking brake you see i move my leg and the car is not moving from the brake that and the car is not moving then put the car on park so the other way you go about it is while you're driving the car when you get to where you want to halt the brake, the, 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 then you stop the car. After stopping the car, just draw your um, parking brake and place the car on the track. You see, the car is not moving. And then push the shifter to park. So when you park your car like this, you are good to go. You don't have any problem whatsoever with the car um, transmission having issues these two procedures these two ways are the best ways you can park your car and ensure that your transmission lasts very very long how do i engage my car after parking there is still something you need to learn you need to know how to do to give your car to give your transmission a, a long lasting life now that is how to pick a car that is already packed up on daily basis now this car is on handbrake <coughs> and is in park if you want to engage this car the first <coughs> the way most of us used to engage our car is by what releasing the handbrake okay after releasing the handbrake we remove the leg and then <coughs> you put the car on drive you are still damaging your transmission box using that way because you see immediately you remove the you release the handbrake of this car the car still tends to 
you understand, to still shift a little bit and it still rests on your parking poles. So the best way to be safe of all this um, um, tragedy is just for you to, when the car is on um, um, parking brake, just engage the car on drive. And then release your handbrake or your parking brake. So after doing that, you can easily move the car. The other way of doing this is also by pressing your brake, putting the car on neutral. After putting the car on neutral, then release your handbrake. You see the car? So then press your brake and then put the car on drive. So when you drive your car like that, when you park and drive your car like that, your job is going to last very, very long. Trust me, it's going to last very, very long because the parking poles is not going to be heating up gradually. Now, if you fail to um, comply to the, the, the instructions I just gave you now, it's very easy. This is what will end up happening to your car. Now, your car will start um, developing a particular fault in which you start, you start noticing it. Once you put your car, you shift from the, from the um, back and then you shift probably to the reverse or to the drive. You begin to hear a kind of sound pull. Immediately after put, placing the car on drive or on reverse, or when you're shifting gears around, even when you want to park the car and you put the car on park, you start hearing a, 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 a kind of push on the car. You, you actually think it's actually the engine seat or the gear seat, but it is until you change the gear seat, you change the engine seat, and the thing still persists before you know that you have a transmission issue. You don't want to have a transmission issue because it is very, very costly. That'll be all you'll be having on this section. I am Sammy the car guy, Sammy the car guy, and I would love to see you again in my subsequent video. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We are trying as much as possible to educate you on basic things you need to know about your car. Please encourage us by clicking that subscribe button, turn on the notification so that you can always know whenever we upload any new message. Like the video, like the video, like the video, and please don't forget to share. Share to your friends, share to everybody, everybody, both potential car owners and those that already own the car already. So and also our Instagram handle is Cabris Auto. Don't forget to follow us and share comments. Let us discuss. Let's see basic things that you actually need education on. That's when it pertains to automobile. Thank you very much and see you in my subsequent video. Thank you.